Okay, so I want to explain some of the new topics in C++. Let's start by dividing. So we all know that 45 divided by 7 is 6, and we also have 3 left over. Um, how, how can we divide uh, in, in a program? So we use slash, okay, this one. 45 slash 7 is going to give us 6, because uh, we're saying x is an integer, right? So it's not going to return a decimal. It's not going to return 6 point something. It's going to return 6, because, right, it's not a decimal. Okay, now what is a percentage sign? Percentage sign gets the mode of this division, okay, or the leftover. So, for example, 45 um, percentage 7 will equal to 3, because 3 is the leftover, okay? So slash actually divides the, the two numbers, while percentage sign divides, but only gives you the leftovers, okay? It's not going to give you the actual 6. Um, now, how do we multiply C++? We just use asterisks, okay? So, shift 8, you know, asterisks. In this case, in Z equals uh, 6 times 5, which is 30, okay? Uh, and by the way, ignore these unused variable warnings. They, they don't mean much. Okay, so you've already know what string is, right? It's just, you can, it's just a line, pretty much. Um, a new thing that I want to teach you is a char. Uh, so, you know, a string can be as long as you want. So in this case, I called it programming tutorial. You can say, hi, my name is George, whatever. It can be a, a word, a, a letter, a, a paragraph. You know, it could be a whole essay. You know, it could be as long as you want. But char can only contain one thing inside. So char can be either one letter, one uh, number, or just one symbol, okay? In this case, uh, I made it a minus. Okay, so uh, these are about it on variables. Now let's go to a new topic, which is an if statement. So uh, right now you see if operation equals, and you see two equal signs, and you're probably thinking, um, did, I think you made a mistake, you put two equals. Uh, well, we'll say no, because if you, for example, put operation with one equal minus, that's a statement you're saying that operation equals to minus that that's a statement but if you're gonna put two equal signs that's a question so here i'm saying operation equals equals minus that's a question so does operation equal to minus okay if it's a question you again if it's a question you use two equal signs if it's a statement you just use one uh, i use in uh, in this case if operation equals mi minus then print out x is 5, if operation is plus, print out x is 6. In this case, you know that operation is minus, so if I'm going to run the program, it's going to say x is 5. And ignore all this hellos, I'm going to show you later why you print it ten hello 10 times. Okay, so because operation was minus, it said if operation is minus, print x is equals to 5, which it did right and then said if operation is plus which is not operation is minus so this did not happen now let's switch let's say operation is plus and run it okay now x is six why did that happen because if operation is minus was false it didn't happen operation is plus so it moved to next if statement and next if, if statement said if operation equals plus which it was so we put in x plus six okay so uh, in this case you can stack all this if statements you can say if operation is minus if operation is plus if operation is multiplication division you know so on you can stack them and uh, tell them what to do in each case uh, that's how we use if statements okay um now to a third new topic uh, that i will introduce you is a, a loop so you know for example if you want one code to run a multiple number of times you don't just copy the same thing. You don't just say, you know, for example, uh, copy, see out, hello world, right? You're not going to just be, you know, this like that over and over and over again. Yeah, this is um, this is actually a very bad, bad programming. Um, I'm going to teach you a shortcut. So you can say int i equals to zero. Let's just create a new variable. I just, i is just a random variable, okay? And while i is less than five, so pretty much what I'm saying is, you know, while i is less than five, this code inside of this brackets 
are, is going to run over and over and over again until 5 is going to be more than or equal to 5. Okay, so in, in this case it starts from 0, and it's going to print hello, then I++, which is just adding 1, right? So I++ is, uh, in this case if I is 0, I++ would be 1, and then I will become 2, 3, 4, and when it's going to hit 5, I is no longer going to be less than 5, and this cycle, this loop is going to end. Okay, so in this case it's going to print hello 5 times. Now, uh, there are two ways to write, you know, a uh, loop, either this or a for loop. Um, you know, while while takes three, uh, like while takes um, uh, one parameter inside, right? For loops takes three. So instead of saying int i equals five, while is i then less than five. So I'm, I wrote one line, two line, and three lines here, right? I can do all these three lines in for loop in just one line and right here so I defined a new integer j, j equals 0 I set j until j is less than 5 um, and j plus plus so all these three lines are just put in one okay uh, and just you know print hello so how does this thing work um, now this thing it will print hello five times so this loop is going to print it five times why you might be asking but i is less than five so it should be four times right no 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 because it starts counting from zero so it starts zero one two three and four generally speaking in programming we start counting from zero okay so and the same thing here j equals zero so it's going to count from zero one two three and four and for that reason it's going to happen five times so in while loop it's going to print hello five times and in for loop also it's going to print hello five times and if we're going to run um we're going to see i'm not going to count it but uh, trust me there are 10 hellos written and ignore this last program and do the code it doesn't matter um yeah okay